I listened to around 700 string quartet movements during the last five years. When I heard Ravel's string quartet um, for the first time, I thought this is maybe the, the greatest piece of music I've ever heard in my life. And, um, and so I wanted to hear more. So I listened to more and more and more string quartets and I thought, okay, if we, if we would cut a few things away, and maybe loop some of the parts, um, it could be even more relevant today. I, I hear kind of hit records in there. Suddenly you have like four bars that are absolutely incredible, that are super modern, even if they are like 200 years old. By just extracting them um, and taking away everything else, you, you put it into a new context and find ways of connecting different string quartets into something new. I'm going to add my electronics to it. And uh, there's other parts that I want to loop uh, and bring back. There is so much in all those string quartets. They're doing those, those great moments only one time. And, and I want to hear them more often. Yeah. And, and also what they do in classical music a lot is, is they stop and then start again. I, from an electronic music perspective, I want to create a stream. Luckily, I met these great players who, who like the idea. The Alma Quartet are one of the best string quartets I've ever heard. Super professional classical musicians. The second thing that is very important, they are super open. So they don't fear of doing these things that, that might be, uh, like for a classical musician, quite shocking. Or they might say, you can't do that. You're changing this classical piece into something else. You might change the measure into something new. You might have to take away um, the melody line, even. Uh, and only use the background, um, or just take the melody. It's like uh, taking fruits from a tree. Yeah, that's how it feels. So I made this selection um, in audio files. I spoke to my friends from Alma Quartet, and they took what they heard and, and marked the bars and the sheet music. And then we met in the studio and we started playing around with um, those selected bars. I'm Zacharias Falkenberg. I'm a composer and conductor and musician. And um, what I did here in Planophonia was to transcribe the music Henrik made, translate it into notation so the Alma Quartet can play it. Also, my work here was to find a good transition from one piece to the another using like simple but very strong musical. Um, ideas to modulate from one key to the another one. This is what we took to the studio when we started recording and um, I was thinking about how, how would they fit together, so what piece would fit into which other piece, like, like a DJ would do. So here's the end of one movement. Ends like this. And here's the beginning of another song, which just starts exactly the same. And this is how we are trying to connect different pieces together.
once we have that new sequence that makes sense, we would write it into sheet music again. The players will have iPads with the sheet music in front of them and that will be synced to what I do. So we all know where we are in a way, but still are free um, to play with the material and then see what comes out. We're going to debut uh, Plantophonia at Popkultur and um, we are still experimenting of how we, we bring it on stage. After we tried a few things out, I thought, yeah, this is really working. This is really what I thought it's gonna be. And it's even much more than that. So I'm kind of feeling this could be really strong in the end. <laughs>